All right, welcome back to Let's Play Europe Universalis for England the game while well, Great Britain. Uh, so we, I haven't actually recorded any of this for a couple of weeks because I got so far ahead that I thought, well, you know, I, I wasn't feeling pressured to do that. Um, and I thought I'd let things catch up a little bit instead of doing things that it seemed a little silly to be, you know, at the time I had stopped recording like 40 episodes ahead of where people were, you know, somebody might have caught something important or, you know, made a suggestion that was important. But, uh, yeah. Last time we had a war with Portugal and I there's a kind of a, an impending doom situation down here in the Gold Coast colony that we took from them in that there are no troops down there and 8,000 uh, guys. Can't take the transports out of there. Can take this out though. So send them somewhere. And then select the other guys. Send them over. Hopefully they can get there before there's an uprising happens, or at least before the uprising takes the province. If that happens. Um We are working on a province here for our mission. I think I want to start exploring the Louisiana region a little bit so that I can start thinking about expanding my uh, my colony there. I need to get that to five provinces sooner rather than later. I really need to start focusing at least one of my colonists on colonizing Africa to get my trade regions good, good so that I can uh, get some extra merchants out of that. Uh, I will be picking up expansion later. But for now, I think it's fine to just get uh, adjacency and, and declare war that way. So, what's the plan? Well, let's deal with our situations up here first. We have a loan. Let's repay the loan. Uh, Brittany has a religious situation going in that they are currently still Catholic. But the religious zeal in Morbihan is running out next month. And in their capital... It runs out in October, so now is like the perfect time to, well, next month would be the perfect time, but I want to uh, do this beforehand uh, to enforce religion, and I might as well enforce religion on France. Uh, if I remember correctly, France is not likely to... Uh, have a good time because of this, but I think, you know, seeing what happens is certainly a good idea and this will probably uh encourage sending the um what you call it down there the uh centers of reformation spain is nearly finished with their conversions to protestant and there's a couple getting converted to reform but that's okay and they have a few left but it's i think it's fine uh it's really inconvenient that i have novgorod as a vassal right now since they're not really getting me any benefit i'm not planning to do Claire Warren Muscovy. Also, uh, France had negative liberty desire, so that, that's good. Um, and right now it's just costing me uh, Diplo points, which is something I accepted at the time. Uh, speaking of Diplo points, since I'm going to be go working on a... Uh, I do, I'm still like nine years ahead on tech, but... I'd still like to get as many Diplo points as possible, since I'm not going to be working on a military thing. I'll just focus on Diplo power. Uh, this guy's kind of terrible. I'm just going to fire him, and oh, I can only fire one of these guys. Let's fire this guy. Uh, I'd actually kind of like a level 3 statesman, because I actually want to start integrating Norway soon. Uh, I still have these two provinces to take from Denmark to give to them, but they're cheap enough that it wouldn't really bother me to have to take them myself. Yeah, they're only three development. Um, and Norway is almost finished with this colony here, which will give them the colonial nation in Canada. And as soon as they finish coring these provinces here, they will have the colonial nation in Mexico. And then I think at that point they're just going to slowly colonize Canada, which is... That kind of ends their usefulness right now. Uh, I think having Spain colonizing this stuff and 
giving provinces to um, Brittany is a better plan than doing it with Norway, but I mean, there is a possibility that we could, say, give one of these provinces to Norway and have them do that, but since they have the increased coring cost, and Brittany does too, uh, that's less attractive. Although their colonial nations don't count. This is important. Uh, like, if we looked at their thing, it would count the colonial nations, uh, the provinces they have over in the colonial nations as th places they haven't cored yet. And so, it'll cost me, like, I don't know, the cost of these plus whatever provinces they own themselves. And I'm willing to bet that the provinces in Mexico are actually on par with the province, most of the provinces they own. Yeah, with the exception of their capital, which is, like, a lot. 18. That's relatively a lot. Let me compare this stuff up here. Uh, this stuff's not that great, but you know what I mean. Um, so starting to integrate Norway is going to be something we should do soon. We won't finish it before we get the the next group of techs anyway, so getting it finished sooner is probably good, although it's going to minimize the amount we can save up beforehand. I think I also want to get rid of my uh, benign neglect for now. You can pick that up again later. We're going to have a lot of problems with some revolts, uh, particularly in the Caribbean. So I'm going to want to send this navy over there. Let's pick up these guys in Holland. Not necessarily to send them over to the Caribbean, but... Uh, so I, I kind of want to have an army stationed in the Caribbean all the time. I need to get a guy over here, though. Um, I really sh am going to have to send troops down here to deal with this. This is They are particulars because Portugal evidently did not have a full core on these. And I guess territorial cores go away when you uh, lose a province. Not necessarily applicable to a player, but could be annoying if uh, you happen to forget that. I don't know if that's true, actually. I just don't know why they wouldn't have poured that in the first place. Um, it's not necessarily Cape that I find is strange. It's Cape Verde that they don't have a core on. That uh, confuses me. They're both particularists. Uh, okay, so. The situation with our cultures. These two are going to be done when? August. I did notice that there was a province up here that was still Highlander. Let's change this to Scottish. It'd be cheaper to change to Norwegian, but I'm going to get Scottish sooner as an accepted culture, I believe. Well, almost certainly, but uh, yeah. I only need uh, 115 more development to do that, which is probably going to be integrating Norway, if I had to guess. Um... So, yes. Uh, Denmark. So, the logical thing to do here would be to declare war on Denmark. And that's something I probably want to do. Um, now, there's another situation that I feel I need to deal with. Let's get our diplomats back. Burgundy just rivaled Tuscany. How appropriate for what I'm going to be talking about next. Okay, there's Pentecostal heretics. Alright, so my diplomats are back. Uh, I will start getting a... a spy network going on Denmark. Getting a spy network going on Dithmarchen. Actually, do I have a claim on Dithmarchen? I do, so I don't need to do that. Uh, um, and I'm going to start getting a spy network on Burgundy. You might be thinking, you just had a war with Burgundy recently. Well, not recently. I obviously don't have a truce with them. But my aggressive expansion is huge. 
why would I be wanting to get to spy network on Burgundy? Well, there's a delicate situation here. Uh, let's get our diplomat back again. Okay. Austria's a great power. So, Mulan. Mulan is friendly to us. They will actually accept an alliance. Uh, they are rivaled to Burgundy, and Burgundy rivals them back. I also rivaled with the Papal State. And apparently they have rivaled Bohemia. That's not really relevant to me. Um, but... Uh, and Burgundy, obviously, is, you know, hated and reviled by everyone in the universe. Uh, except me, because I can't rival them. Because I'm too strong. So, Milan, right? Milan has... Every reason in the world to go with, to war with Burgundy, or to want to go to war with Burgundy, and they have claims on uh, Franche Comte and Savoy, which are in the French region, the region of France. Since I have declared my want of all of the French region, this is a problem because there is uh, a problem with declaring war on Milan directly, in that they are allied with Austria. And to a lesser extent, Tuscany. But uh, Tuscany is not as important of a, uh, a situation as Austria is. Austria has been my uh, ally pretty much the whole game, except for that 10 years where Burgundy broke their alliance with me. Uh, Burgundy is allied to basically nobody. Wurttemberg and Liege, who we have crushed several times. I don't mind Liege being allied with Burgundy. It gives me, you know, that it takes up one of their slots, basically. Um, Wurttemberg is a similar situation down here, whatever. It's not really important. If we look at Milan's, uh, diplomatic feedback, they want a lot of stuff in the region. Um, so, there's a, a problem here in that if they declare war on Burgundy, sure, if they take one problem, it's a problem, you know? If they take three provinces, then it becomes an even bigger problem. If they take one province and break off all of their guys back into the Empire, that's a disaster. That is the worst possible situation. Burgundy is very, very vulnerable to being broken apart into pieces, as is somebody like France, or um, if Ireland forms, Ireland can do that. Uh, so, at least early, this early in the game, these cores won't have gone away. And some of them will never go away. Like, uh, Flanders, I think, will never go away. As long as the Flemish culture exists. Uh, I think Savoy will eventually go away? Nope, Savoy will stay. Uh, and the only two provinces they start with... Well, no, they, they start with three provinces that are pure Burgundy, of course. And that is Charlet, Bourgogne, and French Comte. Everything else is somebody else's core also. Or one of their uh, subject nations. So, even though this gets us a lot of aggressive expansion sooner rather than later, I think it behooves us to take to deal with the situation now rather than later. So, how do we do this? Well, we could just declare war, war on Burgundy directly, but that doesn't solve the situation. Uh, per se, because then Milan can just wait for us to be finished and then do whatever war they want to do with Burgundy. No. I think what we want to do is we want to ally with Milan. Don't do a royal marriage or anything like that. Ally with Milan. Call them into a war promising land since we won't have 10 favors. Do a huge thing. Uh, do a huge uh, peace deal and take what's cheaper? Franche Comte or Savoy? French Comte, and whatever other provinces we can. Maybe even both, if it's possible. I don't think so. Savoy is an expensive province. And, um... The most important thing is that the last provinces we leave them are provinces that aren't the Empire, right? So, Bourgogne, Nevers, Savoy, French Comte, and... Artois is not in the Empire, and I think Rethel is not in the Empire, but I think every other province that they have. So we can't just willy-nilly take provinces. Oh, and Ghent. Ghent's not in the Empire, either. So 
So I think it's pretty important that we do this now. Uh, do I want to ally with Milan now? No, I think we'll wait until the end of the month and see if uh, the situation changes any. So they're taking decisions probably related to conversions. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's fine. So we're going to go back down to 10 points if we do this. Uh, they will just barely accept. The guy has a weak claim, but I don't think we can take advantage of that. Unless he dies or something like that. Right, we will say no to this. Their guy's pretty old, but... Uh, where's my ships? As long as they can get to like this province, I think they're good. Mosquito's finished. Okay. So Mosquito was the last thing we wanted to do in this because this is a... Uh... Yeah. Okay. Uh, New Novgorod actually has a gold province here in Managua, which is great because they are sending us a treasure fleet. Yay, a treasure fleet. One of the reasons I want to integrate Norway is so that this becomes... My, oh, and they already finished the thing. They will become my colonial nation. And then they will be sending me these sweet, sweet, sweet gold. They have two gold provinces, which is awesome. And then I can also feed them provinces from other things. But I don't know if I want to do that. I want to get them up to ten, but I think I want to get um, these main Aztec provinces to New Cornwall so that they can send me delicious treasure fleets also. So... Um... Yeah, you'll often get treasure fleets from Alaska, uh, California, Peru, uh, pretty much all of the places in the New World, with the exception of Eastern America, will typically have gold provinces. Uh, these three colonial nations typically won't. Uh, sometimes Canada, I've I've seen I've found gold in Canada, but Eastern North America, Louisiana, and Caribbean typically don't have gold. It's mostly like coffee and spices and stuff like that, sugar. Cocoa uh, in the Caribbean. They're just worth a lot of money in general. Um, which in the end is actually a little bit more valuable than having a bunch of gold provinces since the gold provinces raise your inflation a little bit. And Something we don't really care about is England, especially since uh, if we get the uh, Bank of England event later. Okay. Um, you want to send this guy to the Americas? I don't think necessarily we want to do that. I don't think that's necessary. So, let's go... Um, I think I'm going to split them in half, because in wintertime they will take attrition. I also need a general. Yeah, I can afford to get a general. Uh, I can afford to get another general. That guy's better, I guess. <laughs> Four maneuver is good if you want to get a place, but uh, not necessarily that great. And I want to get a conquistador here. Wow. Six fire, huh? We have established that it gets this prestige to shoot the natives, so... Go shoot the natives. I guess. I just want him to explore the, the uh, Louisiana region a little bit so I can plan out where I want to put my colonists and stuff. Alright, so Milan has 37,000 troops. That's pretty good. I'm guessing Burgundy has about 35, 36. Morocco declares one. Portugal, reconquest. We also want to declare war on uh, Burgundy as soon as we get a claim because... Uh, we don't want them to get any more allies. If they get somebody like the Papal State, that would be fine. But if they, like, ally Hungary... No, actually, if they ally Hungary, that's really good. Uh, no, it distracts Austria. Never mind. That's that's actually not good. If they ally the Ottomans or something, that would be really bad. I don't think it would, but it's possible. France does it all the time. Uh, Bohemia! Bohemia often allies the, the Ottomans because they hate Austria. 
Yeah, 34. And then they probably have 7 or 8. Wurdenberg probably has 8, if I had to guess. Four. Mm, they have three. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Ordenburg's got shit. Uh, hmm. If not for the fact that I want a claim on, I think Zealand, Zealand or Ghent. You're getting changed to Ghent. Is getting changed to Protestant, but the fact that I can get this province—that's a Dutch Protestant province already. <laughs> So it's like, why do you want Dutch provinces? Well, it's so I can make them an accepted culture. I can already do that, but... Uh, yeah, that's that's a good question. Why would I want Dutch provinces? They they get those events. Well, uh, Flemish provinces get those events, too. So, it's not really many difference. Right. I might as well put that other general that I hired in charge. Might as well use him. He's got four fire. So I'm just waiting for this claim to come in. I need 20, right? I should probably do something with my lazy diplomat, right? Oh, yeah, I want to look at the province. I want to look at the province. Yeah. Okay, what should I do with this other diplomat? Well, I suppose I should start buttering up people in the area who are mad at me for uh, doing aggressive expansion things. You are hopeless. Why not? Why not Aachen? Or should I start integrating Norway? I'll do that after I get the claims, but before I declare the war. I don't care about your peasants. Actually, aren't the Ottomans at war? No, they're not. They were war before. Okay, so Charter Colonies has expired. Get a new debate going. Oh, thanks. This would have been useful about well, whenever I did that. Land maintenance is pretty good. Uh, it's probably costing me more money than an advisor costs, if I had to guess. Was maintenance seventh. Uh, army maintenance. 41, yeah! That's pretty obvious. And it's going to be pretty cheap. Civil service. Crown land. Prestige. There we go. No permanence lost. Uh, speaking of that, let's check our religion stuff. Uh, National Unrest is probably not doing anything for us right now, but I'll keep it for now. Uh, missionary Strength is going to be useful here in a little while, so there's no reason to change any of these. I will want to swap out for the idea cost eventually. Uh, once, well, in like 10 years. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, not 10 years, because pretty much all of the techs will have neighbor bonuses by the time that happens. Alright. Pope react. Alright. So this is going to be spending even more uh, Diplo points that I probably shouldn't be spending this early, but I'm getting quite a bit. Uh, that's another reason not to integrate Norway immediately, is to save up some points, but I don't know if that's actually the good play. Although, if my king dies and I'm integrating Norway, then I would be at, what, two extra points? Maybe three once I, I do that? That would take a long time to get that going. Hmm. Well, it's really six one half dozen the other. It just ends up being, if I can get the third idea uh, unlocked before the Norway finishes when it becomes inefficient. We'll have to think about that. I definitely don't want to be uh, missing a window here, but I could uh, could get some points from the burgers. Is there any delicate way of doing this? I can get Monopoly Charters in 71. Uh...
This is going to give me a little bit of inefficiency on my development that I'm going to inevitably have to do, but... I think that's okay. Um... We've got a lot of things running out in about 10 years, so I think that's fine. And this will tick up to uh, positive before then. Uh, yeah, okay. And since we changed our focus, we won't worry, have to worry about military points that much. Aha, there we go. Russia has now formed Russia. Hopefully they will start conquering some of the stuff they need and we can uh, become rivals again okay yep I know all right alliances plus 50 I was like why do I have a positive relations with them now that'd be kind of stupid if you, you could have negative relations and be allied to somebody well that's possible but they, they'll pretty much break the alliance the next month all right uh... Oh, my explorer. So how close am I to the circumnavigation? I need to clear this and this stuff. So this I know from experience is counted as South America. So let's go for that. Um, you can tell because there's not really any South American provinces open. I've even explored the coasts here and of these islands. So uh, Anything on this side of the dateline is considered to be part of the New World. So... Yes. It's funny that there's no meridian on this side, but there is on that side. So, in a couple more months, we can get our claim, and then we can declare our war. The question is, do we want to be integrating Noro when that happens? Let's deal with our uh, cultural situation first. Um, so, dropping Norman costs us 10. Um, and then they will have plus five address, but there's nothing there, so get rid of that. We'll add Irish. This costs 100 points. We basically got a net gain from taking those things from them, but uh, this is 13% of our development. It's so you know, 102 development, uh, getting 33% better, basically. I, I think it's worth it. Also, it prevents um, there being a problem with a lot of the... Uh, uh, Later on, having a bunch of revolt risk pop up in places, like if people are, um, I don't know, uh, raising, agitating for liberty and such like that. So, yeah, I think that's that's good in the long run. It does hurt a little in the short run, I, I will admit. I think that may look like a mistake right off the bat. Exchange to fur. That means I complete my mission. Okay. What missions do we have here? Convert Cape to Protestant. That sounds great, actually. So this will give me a wave of devotion, right? Mil missionary strength plus one. Porto will actually take a long time to convert. So... Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Uh, once I'm done coring this, it'll, it'll be available. So, uh, my... I don't want to spend... Uh, maybe I do want to spend points to raise my stability rather than um, spending it on that since I have the inefficiency going. I certainly want to put a guy uh, in place to make this cheaper since I have so many malices to this stuff. I don't think I want to do that. Um, Caribe's separatists are going to happen soon, and the particulars will happen in about three years. Okay. So it looks like our, yeah, our ships got back here. Show Elan! A strong emphasis on offensive gives our country army a feeling of strength because attack is always the best form of defense. I men charge fearlessly in the battle, knowing the victory will be theirs. Go for the eyes! Land. That's actually really awesome. Hell of armies plus 15%. So yeah, uh, I can just leave like five here. 
maybe six, and feel pretty safe. And we'll send the rest of them down here. Yeah, we'll send the rest of them down there. And did my ships ever get over here? I never sent them over here. <laughs> Uh, I want to deal with those Caribus Separatists. Uh, let's go over here. Um, let's build a few more infantry over here. I love the fact that you can build troops and stuff in your colonial nations. Mercenaries? I don't really need mercenaries. There's my Tercios. Uh, the boats can hold one more. So I might as well get another one. Okay. This guy over here. And then I'll probably end the episode here. It's a bit of a slow start, but it'll get the ball rolling, right? Let's just explore. Uh, the Seven Cities thing, I'll do that after I, I do this. But, uh, actually, I can just activate it now. But sometimes I get stuck on provinces and you have to kind of babysit them. But we will do that just to, to show it off, I suppose. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Europa Universalis 4, where we will uh, probably declare war on Burgundy.